What's up, guys? I just wanted to make a really brief video and give you a walkthrough of what our house looks like with the fresh paint on the walls. Um, we're not going to show a whole lot on this video, but I've been getting a lot of questions on what the house currently looks like. So I wanted to uh, at least get this video up quickly and out there. In the next couple videos, you'll see flooring, our island, our cabinets, and then we'll start getting to the fun stuff with the furniture builds. So uh, thanks for watching, guys, and please like and subscribe. So it's pretty early this morning and there isn't a lot of sunlight coming in and I don't have my lights hooked up yet, but uh, you can kind of tell, maybe not the best on camera, but there's a little bit of a contrast between the wall and the ceiling color. Uh, yeah, that's not showing up a whole, whole lot there. Over here you can tell a little better. You can see the walls are just a little bit darker than the ceiling panels are. And we got the main room all finished up, the ceiling all finished up. And we started on the flooring, like I mentioned yesterday. Here's the fireplace wall. I don't want to show you too much of the flooring. We'll save that for another video, but... And here's the office. One of the bedrooms. And then in here is going to be the baby's room. We've got a plan for this wall here. This is gonna be a green color. That's kind of an accent wall. And we're hoping to get started on that later in the week. And then in our room, we have a black accent wall here. And I want to mention one thing. We got some cheap primer for uh, the, the guys that did the texturing for us from Menards and it's the five gallon buckets they have for like 60 bucks, but it was all pink. So I don't know how I feel about that. If somebody made a mistake, it says on there that it's supposed to be flat white and it's pink and I hope this shows up on camera, but because it was pink, we ended up having to paint four coats on our ceiling just to hide all of that pink color. So that was a, a little bit of a setback, I would say. If it would have just been normal white, I think we would have only needed one coat of paint on the ceiling. But since it was pink, it took a lot to cover it up on the ceiling at least. So something to think about, I guess, if you're gonna look at buying cheap primer, sometimes you get what you pay for. And uh, yeah, you might end up with pink walls everywhere. Um, black accent wall, we ran out of paint, as you can tell behind me here, but uh, we're going to pick up some more on Thursday this week and get that wall finished up too. And yeah, exciting time. It's fun to see the whole house really come to life now that the walls are textured and we got the paint up. Everything's looking good and we're super happy with it. As far as the flooring goes, I'll give you a little sneak peek over here. We went with some Cali bamboo vinyl plank flooring throughout the entire house and we're loving it. It looks great. It's been going really well and we're excited to get that wrapped up. But that's gonna be a video in itself. I'll show you kind of the tools that I'm using on the flooring and a couple different techniques that work for us. It's not difficult uh, with this click lock stuff. Uh, a couple tools and you can knock that all out of the park. But I just wanted to show you a little bit of a quick update here house is all painted and we're ready to finish up flooring this week as well and then we'll move on to doors some tile work and then last but certainly not least all the trim work which i'm not looking forward to but anyways thanks for watching you guys i, I really appreciate all the subscribers that have been rolling in lately we're getting closer and closer to that goal of 1000 so thanks a lot to you guys and i hope you've been enjoying this journey we're super pumped to get in here uh, we're expecting a baby, and the goal was to be in here before he is born, but at that, at this rate, it looks like we're gonna be a little bit behind schedule, which is perfectly all right, but uh, we'll make a final push here, and hopefully in the next month or so, we can start moving stuff in here. See you on the next episode. Here's my lovely wife and our newborn baby, Kai, and we're just getting all of the doors uh, with their first coat of paint. We decided to go with a matte black paint for all the doors in here. And I believe it's Sherwin-Williams.
And here it is from Sherwin Williams. This is their Captivate line. We've also used their Emerald line, which is their high end paint uh, for the cabinets. But this is a more middle of the road tier. And the color of it is called Tricorn Black. And here's a little sneak peek of what it looks like after we've gotten two coats on it. Uh, we were a little bit skeptical because we actually really loved how the hard maple doors look natural. And me being a woodworker, it always hurts to paint over the top of wood. But our whole theme for this house is to do kind of that bright white walls and ceilings and flooring and then contrast that with black windows and black doors. So we decided to go with black and we're really liking how it's turning out. 